preserve the guitar, they're going to give us a down payment of some kind. For example, here Smith Guitars gave us a down payment. We didn't record a positive liability at that time. We have recorded the, the negative receivable so that we can record it in the sub-ledger here. And you can see this happened over here for Anderson Guitars. And then at a later point, when we deliver the guitar, that's when we were, would record the invoice. And the invoice is the point in time under this kind of system, under this method, where the actual revenue would be created. So we would then post the revenue properly when the invoice is created. And then you would have this uh, unearned. And then these two would basically net out at that point in time. This also makes it easier to take to take the prepayment and tie it to the invoice. In other words, if I look at the sub-ledger here, I can see, okay, yeah, there, these two things net out here. But I'd also, with an accounting software, like to tie this payment to this invoice, which again is a lot easier to do if the payment is in the same sub-ledger as the invoice that is going to be made. So that's going to be the, the basic idea of it. So if we go over to the practice tab, we're going to record this out. The general idea is we've got these negative items in the accounts receivable. The accounts receivable is still positive, but we recorded some of these negative items that I'm going to have to search through in the sub-ledger, and then I'm going to increase the accounts receivable to accommodate for that to get it to where it should be and then we're going to create a a increase in the unearned revenue account so to do that we're let's do the journal entry first i'll go to the journal